It's Phantom Cannon. I'm Josh. I'm Butts. And, uh, uh, he's we're coming. in the middle of the boss fight here. He's gonna come out of one of these paintings. We've gotta shoot him in the face. Here he comes. I here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. Nice. Nice shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's just like, nope. Turns around. <laughs> he just nopes on back into the painting. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. This, this whole portion is very haunted mansion. Ha <laughs> Yeah! Good, I like the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, this part has always reminded me of the Haunted Mansion with their little freaky deaky paintings. Y'all know the one I'm talking about. The stretching just... room. What are these paintings of? I missed! Ooh, ooh, big jam. It's, it's like a wooded path. It's like some dark and creepy wooded path. Oh, okay. I see it now. That makes sense. Feels like he's coming down the road. Where is he? Yeah. Nope. Yes. No God. So the trick is. Well, he, well, he's missing you too. Yeah. If you stand on the little triforces, his lightning doesn't just destroy you every time he comes out of the painting. Oh, jeez, I didn't know that. Oh. He's got two. Oh, he's faking you out. Okay. Hey, get back here. You get back here, old man. That seems like a really cheesy way to beat him. Just like, just stay out of the Triforce. Luckily, this this map Nintendo. has multiple phases. Nintendo Power? Is that the Nintendo Power tip? That is correct. Uh, oh. I've I've lost track. All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> is is this room actually stretching? Or is Ganon just coming face first out of some paintings? There we go. Nice, get back in there. Okay, so we're at phase two. I've knocked him off his high horse. Put that Ganon back where he came from. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> little... Now we play Poop. tennis. Poop. And service. Oh, okay. Ah, the rope. rope 15 captain. love, Ganon. <laughs> there we go. First time you played this, were you like, "Holy crap! I fought a Ganon already!" Yeah, I, I was. I was very surprised. Yeah. Eh. Of course, it's Phantom Ganon. It's 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 Fanon, if you will. <laughs> False Ganon. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Rally. Now we're All banding right. back and forth. Yeah. We got a rally going. I still don't know if that's a word, bandying. Oh, he lets me go again. Okay. Uh -huh. no. oh. Well, that's three. What the heck? You hit him three times. Not following the rules, Ganon. I know. Phantom Ganon. The rule of threes, Ganon. This is Zelda. every Zelda. Mario, really. Tennis. 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 There we go. Jump. 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 There we go. And again. And again. Oh. Oh. Aha! I moved. I'm the assistant manager at Denny's. <laughs> Phantom Ganon. The day shift. <laughs> Denny, I was about to say bar. Does Denny have a bar? They do not have a bar. Like oh. an open bar? Like <laughs> alcohol? Yeah, like a, it could be a bartender, yeah. <laughs> it's for if you want to start drinking early, folks. It's like, boy, that would be a bad idea to have Denny's have a bar. The saddest people. <laughs> it looks like you. But sorry, I was drinking at the bar. But you have defeated yeah. only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was! I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. <laughs> Which coincidentally is the gap. To the other side of the mini ball, the gap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a sh it's a stretch. Uh, dang it. What's the word where the mall isn't inside, but it's outside? <laughs> dang it. A strip mall? <laughs> strip mall. Thank you. Where did that come from? Like, where, where did the word strip mall? Why would they say, like, no, we'll describe it with the word strip? I guess because it's like one long... S strip? Okay, I answered my own question. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> I, I retract my question. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we're back ah. here. Okay. We're back at the 
<laughs> what did we say this was? The the Huddle House. Or the Waffle House. <laughs> the last remaining Waffle House. Denise is taking over. Oh yeah, that lady. Thank you. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh. No, sorry, I I just was expecting someone else. Sorry. No, I'm gonna need a minute. This is uh <laughs> just Wow. Fine. Okay. Because of you you, I could awaken as a sage. Wow, I'm still not used to saying that. I'm Saria Saraya? Saria? No one knows how to pronounce my name. <laughs> Gwen. The sage of the first. Just call me Stephanie. I've always liked Stephanie. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. You, you don't have to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're, you're the one explaining. Yeah. <laughs> because it is destiny that you and I live in the same world. Yeah. No, like, I know who you are. You're just seven years <laughs> older. I just... Yeah, that's, I get it. No, it's... Yeah, I get it. I just really don't want to acknowledge... She doesn't want to mansplain to her. <laughs> I'll stay here, because I don't know where the exit is. <laughs> I don't know how to leave. <laughs> I can't uh, get down. <laughs> I need an adult. We're, we're <laughs> yeah. all children. We're all children, and I need an adult. Oh, okay. Cool. Got a lifesaver. It's, yeah. It's not pineapple flavored. It looks delicious. Mm. It does look. It looks like you could unwrap it, and it'd be chocolate on the inside. Mm. I always thought for the longest time that Haribo, the, the gummy bears, that their green flavor was lime. And I was like, this is the weirdest tasting lime. I don't know why. And then I looked on the back one day and it's strawberry. And I was like, oh my God. Okay. And then like, then I could suddenly taste it. Now I'm like, oh, the green's the best. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Scorf just got very friend zoned, by the way. I don't know if you saw that last comment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See you, pal. Oh. Ah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's Scream too. Hello! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> yeah, hi there! Hello, I'm the Deco Tree Sprout! I've got a really deep, insatiable craving for some Beyonce! <laughs> Cause you and Saria broke the curse of the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish! She's like, boom! Explosive growth. <laughs> I'm feeding off the nutrients of my dead daddy! <laughs> daddy! <laughs> hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognize you. They're grown up body, did they? <laughs> it's like the Brooklyn Nine, like, Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> da daddy! That's because the Kokiri never grow up! Never grow up! Even after seven years, they're still kids! It's <laughs> dead eyed. He's just one of those guys that'd be exhausting to be around in real life. Yeah. Oh, great. You must be wondering why only you have grown up! I'll tell you! <laughs> Well, as you might have already guessed, already guessed, you are not a Kokiri, you're actually a Hylian. Or is it pronounced Hylian? Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy to finally reveal the secret to you! <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> he's a straight shooter. <laughs> this, he's a straight shooter, this Deku tree. <laughs> so, 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 let me spill that tea. So. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified the- oh! Anyway, one day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. This is fun. This is my favorite voice so far. I know, this is great. The fires all around. <laughs> the mother was gravely injured, like, but her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree! The Deku Tree can sense that this is a child of destiny, or destiny's child. <laughs> right where my Beyonce fan's at, girl. You know who I'm Where's talking the about. Where's the beehive? <laughs> Stay up for those in the back. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri, and now finally the day of destiny has come. That's why we didn't have a fairy. A fairy! That, that's right, Buds. You brought a full circle. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to lead this forest. 
And now you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. <laughs> Beat up that guard kid. Oh. <laughs> you know, Mido, just kill him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Scorf, break the curses on all of the temples and return that peace to that Hyrule girl. Salay! <laughs> um, no sachet! It's kind of back away. Oh, I'm glad he's not talking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a nap. Yeah. Don't forget to call! Go! <laughs> <laughs> Text me, call me! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, where's my hookshot? There it is. <laughs> what, what do you need the hookshot for? <laughs> Scorf equips the axe. I mean, I mean, I mean, fair. I like the hook shot too. Do like the hook shot. I mean, I if I had one, it. I would always have it on me. Yeah. Too. Oh, well, oh yeah. The 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 force back to normal. It was all like creepy and overgrown with vines and weeds. Oh, that's right. Okay. So now they've they've come back. Like creepy immortal children. Now that the dagger trees but is going in the dagger trees meadow. Has returned to the mountain. Did I hear someone say my name? <laughs> be like, I'm grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing. <laughs> just so happy. <laughs> just hear him constantly for the rest of the game. Just like, I'm enjoying some nutrients. <laughs> I love it when it rains. <laughs> oh, give me that sun. <laughs> sun, sun. <laughs> It's the Beyonce album Salays. You uh, ran into a tree there. I did. I was. I was. Just, maybe something will fall out. Boom. It's got, oh, there you go. It's got to be an easier way to get stuff out of trees than just slamming your head into it. There must be. But there's. But there's not. But there's that not. voice yeah. is weirdly contagious and is slightly hard to stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So going back to uh, the strip mall and uh, the fact that I couldn't think of the phrase strip mall, mm -hmm. um, if I if I could just kind of peel back the curtain, oh, I killed you already. Oh jeez! Just kind of break the fourth wall. Um, there we go. Um, I have learned that. Are they normal pose? Oh, those are just normal pose. Those aren't even the big pose. Never mind. Who cares? Um, but I've learned that I my brain has space for two things at a time. And when I do Riff Arcade, those two things are playing games and talking. Thinking of words is too much. Like, that goes... I've noticed in these two years, somehow, that's the level of <laughs> where I can operate like I can play the video games and make jokes but if you ask me to think up specific phrases or names it's not gonna happen <laughs> it's like no your CPUs I don't know yeah yeah <laughs> my RAM is full you can't think of where you're going either <laughs> I can't I need Navi Navi now that I need you to tell me where I'm going <laughs> nothing I'd like you to tell me about strip malls Navi like, no <laughs> go look Look who suddenly <laughs> yeah. wants my advice. Well, well, well. Who comes crawling back? <laughs> I do So many years so. you hated me. Ah. I think it's time to go up Death Mountain. Again, yay. Goron's ho. <laughs> God, I wish he was a recurring character too. Like he popped up in every village. <laughs> and great. <laughs> Sounds like someone's climbing up Death Mountain. <laughs> Take the elevator, the stairs of murder. <laughs> like this character oh, is across. It's a cross between nice. obviously like oh, a, a slightly effeminate person, or okay, very effeminate person, but it's also like partially. Uh, what's his name from Parks and Rec? Like uh, Ben Schwartz's character on Parks and Rec, where he's I, just I, yelling I, uh, in people's ears all the time. I actually haven't watched Parks and Rec. You'd like it. It's a lot like Brooklyn Nine Nine, except that. It's kind of the midpoint between The Office and Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I, I do not like The Office. That might be a okay. hot take, but I 
it's too real. I can't watch The Office because like I've worked with people like that, and I'm like, this is <laughs> this isn't funny. This is a documentary, and I hate this. So yeah, this is my life. It's way too close to home. Yeah, it's like uh, is it D. Snyder from Twisted Sister who tried to watch. Um, no, no, I can't think. Oh. Tried to watch Spinal Tap, and he was like, "No, this actually happened to me. This is not funny. <laughs> this is just my this life is, on the road. This is, yeah, this is just what it's like, and I don't find it funny." I remember That's uh, coming later. I remember hearing a lot of people talking about that, like on a, I think it was an episode of I Love the '80s back when that was a thing on MTV. Yeah, I remember a lot of people they interviewed about Spinal Tap were like. The, the longer my career, whoa, all right. Huh. They were just like, the longer my career in music went, the less funny Spinal Tap got. Yeah, <laughs> cause it's true. I think someone was even saying like, that scene where they get lost and can't find the stage. He was like, that's happened. That's happened to me before. Yeah, that's. I think D. Snyder said that. He was like, "No, I got lost in something." And like, or he like, wasn't there a scene where like they burst onto a stage and like no one was? They found a stage and no one was there. So, yeah, something that, like that. He said that happened to him too. Like they led him to the wrong stage. It was like, <laughs> he could hear the crowd, but nobody was there because they took him to the wrong stage. It's like, oh jeez. <laughs> Whoops. I can fix oh, this. Can't. I can fix this. Ah, I did it. <laughs> Just kick it. <laughs> Huh? No! No! <laughs> I'm getting distracted. And I will continue to do so. Let's take this ball down. Drop, just drop, just easy, easy. There we go. <laughs> Bob's one of those things you're precise with. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's like an episode of Scooby Doo. They just keep opening the doors and. Just next masks thing you know, on top some... of masks on top of masks. <laughs> Next thing you know, some 60s band. Hello! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I just... Here, I, I got him. I got him. So if the last guy was just okay. all beaten, a beaten shepherd, this guy's just going right. to be like, I was just complimented a small weapon. <laughs> How about it? How about buying this knife? 200 rupees. You buy or don't buy? Absolutely not. You don't buy? All right. Come back again. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just score from this guy. Have a conversation, like, so I don't know, man. Like, like I go to sit at lunch and just no one really talks to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, dude. It's, it's the most I... depressing conversation. Yeah, they, they didn't have a fairy, so they shunned me. Yeah, I'm kind of big around here. They don't really talk to me. No one needs weapons when they can roll into a ball and bombs grow out of the ground. I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah. I got a fairy though, so that kind of, that kind of helped. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Someone throw a punch. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to kind of ah. I was gonna try to guide it in manually. So the deal with this guy is you have to bomb him, so he'll stop rolling. You have to do this to continue with the game. It's horrible. All right, drop it. Oh, uh, what if I just hit just, you? Just hit you, yeah. <laughs> you hook shot him, yeah. Can I stab you instead? Does that work? Swords are like little tiny bombs. Yeah, so the reason I didn't buy that guy's sword is, um... This whole thing is, he sells you a big sword, but then, uh... Dang it. It breaks after a few hits. Like, it's extra strong but then it breaks. So the solution is, of course, I need to find a bigger Goron. It doesn't make I sense. I know. <laughs> like, get a tougher sword. There we go. There we go. <laughs> the kamikaze -um. How could you do this to me? You, you're you gonna do serve it. <laughs> ah! oh, you're right my name so. Trouble. I am Scorf, hero of the Gorons. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to call you a liar, but you're not. <laughs> Until the conversation started. Ooh. What? Your name is also Scorf? And then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Scorf? My dad is Derodia. Do you remember him? Oh, that he, guy. <laughs> he hugged you? Yeah, they're. they're <laughs> 
<laughs> it's very scary. Dad named me Scorf after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Scorf, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. <laughs> Sorry I threatened your life like two <laughs> seconds ago. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Scorf of the Gorons. That seems weird to get an autograph at f by the person you're named after. That's like, true. Oh, okay. To, who should I make this out to? <laughs> Scorf. <laughs> don't give up on your dreams. Love, Scorf. <laughs> how, how do you spell Scorf? How do you spell that? <laughs> my dad, Darudio, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. I'm if we don't ahead. hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. <laughs> oh, poor fella. Is this always a is this always a thing with the Gorons? Like the one that you is kind of like your Goron, like the one you hang out with, is always like a little wimp. Because the Breath of the Wild, the one that you hung out with is a wimp too. And this guy's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm a little wimp. Yeah, like they can't just give you the giant strong one that'd punch everything. Like, I realize that they're trying to subvert expectations, like, oh, these big, giant, tough guys are real softies, but, like, at this point, to subvert our sub yeah, expectation, just make the big, giant, tough guys big, giant, tough guys. I agree. Plus, how scary would that be if, like, this big, giant Goron Arnold Schwarzenegger guy is just like, yeah, we're not going in the, the Dragon's Cavern. We've tried. It's tough. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to go in there either. True. Hey, you like, guys are afraid of it. What if they just made a game where you just played the whole game as a Goron? Like, the whole game. That'd be cool. Just punch stuff, and he'd... It'd be kind of like Majora's Mask when he turns into a Goron, except the whole game. <laughs> All just of it, yeah. different skills as you go. Anyway, Scorf tuned this guy out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, why? Oh. God, what a milksop. Oh. I don't want to ask him anything. Sack. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by... I can't say that. This is a family program. That's... <laughs> I can't say that word. <laughs> eaten by... Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> It is, it's the scientific term, but it still feels dirty to say it out loud. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them all to... Him. <laughs> Voldemort? He's gonna feed them to Voldemort? Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Scorf. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. Now we're talking. Yes! It's the Goron tunic. Back in college. Going to a hot place? No worry. <laughs> Why would they have a Hylian sized tunic? None of them are Link size. Unless that's like a baby <laughs> bonnet or something. It's true. Once again, he's like, uh, this is an exact fit that's been tailored to my size. Uh, that's yeah. interesting. It has, it has pockets in here where I put things exactly where I want pockets. Also, does that mean he stores his tunic? Okay. If the go. Kokiri tunic has pockets in it to store all of his stuff, including another tunic that he also uses to store all of his stuff, is there a black hole inside Link's pocket? <laughs> it's, it's like, a, yeah, it's a wormhole. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Portal pockets, yeah. <laughs> So we just need to kind of grab the little belly here and a little shimmy. There we go. Pop on in and I forgot how I figured oh. that out when I first played this, but I don't think I had the guide going at this point. I did. Well, that's it for this episode of Riff Arcade. <laughs> on the next episode, we are going to head into the crater of the volcano and yeah. uh, and go inside the fire temple. See you on the next episode. Death Mountain! <laughs>